Hi there, so welcome back to the second dev vlog for Sanctum Breach. Um, today I want to talk a little bit more about skills, go a little bit more in depth about my vision for them and how I want them to feel and act within the game. Um, so it's very early stages, I don't have many skills made at the moment but I've got a lot of them planned out and because of the way I've set things up from a technical standpoint it doesn't actually take too long to iterate skills. It's uh, five, ten minutes if you um, if the skills are already pre-planned. So I very much like the way that Diablo 2 done their skills, as opposed to Path of Exile, um, in the sense that there's a lot, a lot, a lot of skills in Path of Exile, but again, a lot of those skills aren't that usable. I, uh, when I say that, I mean you can clear all the content with it up to a point but then you reach a stage where you need an enormous amount of gear to overcompensate whereas some skills you don't need any gear and you can clear the entire content with them anyway. Um, Diablo 2 done a better job of balancing overall I would say. There are some skills <coughs> that didn't see as much use um, but nowhere near the scope of Path of Exile. So <coughs> my vision for my skills is that every skill has a purpose. That's not to say that every skill will be able to clear the entire game content with no gear or no effort at all, but I want more of a unifying skill set. So you've noticed I only have five skill slots. The idea with this is that I have sporadic skills and sustainable skills. So you would want a sustainable skill so that you can constantly be attacking while your sporadic skill, that would be your big AOE or your big single target damage, is on cooldown. So you, you're never in this moment where you've got nothing to do because you've got other skills to fall back on. The additional slots can be taken up with whatever you want really, like you don't have to follow the, the playstyle that I have in mind when I create these skills. But obviously the playstyle I have is a sustainable skill, a sporadic skill, that's one with a cooldown but larger damage or something uh, nice about it basically. Uh, it could be a buff to health, anything like that. And then the remainder of the slots taken up by passive or auras. So there's three end game styles of gameplay that I have planned which is Conquest, uh, sort of akin to the map system in Path of Exile. Um, then there's Encounters, which are one-on-one -on -one boss fights, because I really like the idea of building a character purely around boss fights, but I haven't played an ARPG where that's too successful. Um, obviously you can do it in Path of Exile, but you need a mapping character as well. Um, and then the final uh, gameplay mode is Trials, so it's a combination of the two. One of the Trials is an Endless Wave style arena, uh, quite like um, Grim Dawn's uh, version of an Endless Arena. <coughs> and then the second is Mythic Trials, so these will be a combination of maps and uh, boss encounters basically, or conquests and boss encounters I should say, where you will traverse across uh, a landscape and then you'll fight a boss that would be mythically themed so at the moment I've got a phoenix and a minotaur um, but I'll be adding plenty more later on and these different endgame content modes they'll dictate your skill set so for example if you're very much focused around boss fights with uh, the particular character then obviously you want to focus more on single target skills Whereas if you're a mapper, you might want more AOE skills. And then if you do uh, trials, you'll want a combination of the two. And obviously there's various passives and auras like to increase movement speed, health, etc, etc. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my vision for skills. You'll have several ways to augment them. Um, you'll learn them either via the talent tree, which have class specific skills, or as a well drop that will have um, generic skills that every class can use. Uh, and then you can upgrade them either by uh, world drops 
depending on if it's a, a global skill or via the passive tree or talent tree if it's a class specific skill then beyond that I quite like the idea of having enhancements or augments which change the nature of the skill rather than just giving it a direct buff to damage, cast speed, whatever it is. So my idea for the augments was take, I don't know, fireball for example. Actually take this, this breath of flame skill. With um, enhancements that you find on the talent tree, you might increase its damage, you might increase its AOE. Then with the augment, I might make it so that instead of one flame coming out in front of you. You have multiple flames coming out to the left, the right, and in front of you. So it changes the nature of how the skill behaves. Um, another route that I want to take it down is changing sporadic skills to sustainable skills and vice versa, so that you can play with a skill that you enjoy and then make it fit the playstyle that you're after as well. So yeah, um, I have quite a lot of systems set up so that I can really focus on making the skills feel feel like they have a purpose and they're not just another addition that only a few people are going to use but it's not really that viable yeah so that's where a majority of my balance and changes and focus will be which is purely around those skills yeah i'll end the video there because i'm starting to ramble a little bit um in the next one i'll probably talk a little bit more about uh the quest system and transitioning from uh, the story to the end game and my ideas on making the story feel interesting so yeah i'll end it there thanks for watching see you in the next one